पर आप कर क्या रहे हो जो हमारे जवान हैं जो हमारे जवान हैं जिन्होंने अपना खून खून दिया है जम्मू कश्मीर में जिन्होंने अपना खून दिया है जिन्होंने हिंदुस्तान के लिए सर्जिकल स्ट्राइक किया है उनके खून के पीछे आप छुपे हुए हो उनकी आप दलाली कर रहे हो जवानों के खून की दलाली का शब्द प्रयोग किया तब उन्होंने सभी सीमाओं को लांग दिया है इंतहा ही कर दी है मैं मानता हूं कि राहुल गांधी का इस शब्द प्रयोग इस सेना की वीरता का अपमान है देश की सवा सौ करोड़ जनता का अपमान है यह बिल्कुल गलत है हिंदुस्तान के सेना ने हिंदुस्तान का काम किया है आप अपना काम कीजिए आप हिंदुस्तान के किसान की मदद कीजिए आप हिंदुस्तान की सेना को सेवंथ पे कमीशन में पैसा बढ़ा के दीजिए यह आपका काम है यह आपकी जिम्मेदारी है इसको आप निभाइए हिंदुस्तान ने आपको इसके लिए इलेक्ट किया है यह सच्चाई है राहुल जी ने इतने बड़े बड़े मसलों पर बयान देने की जगह आलू की फैक्ट्री पर कंसंट्रेशन करना चाहिए जिससे उन्होंने जो कहा है वो देश की जनता के सामने है ये बड़े बड़े मसलों पर उन्होंने बयान नहीं देना चाहिए वेलकम बैक योर विद ऑन इंडिया टुडे फ्यूरियस फेस ऑफ बिटवीन BJP President Amit Shah and Congress Vice President Rahul Gandhi over RG's comments on the Prime Minister doing khun ki dalali. The BJP is demanding an explanation. The Congress hard pressed to explain the rationale behind Rahul's utterance. Uh, meanwhile, soldiers very angry with the fact that their valor is now the subject of politics. Here's the full story. Jo hamare jawan hai jinhone apna khun khun diya hai जम्मू कश्मीर में जिन्होंने अपना खून दिया है जिन्होंने हिंदुस्तान के लिए सर्जिकल स्ट्राइक किया है उनके खून के पीछे आप छुपे हुए हो उनकी आप दलाली कर रहे हो राहुल गांधी ने जब जवानों के खून की दलाली का शब्द प्रयोग किया तब उन्होंने सभी सीमाओं को लांग दिया है सटल्टी ऑफ लैंग्वेज न्यू एंड क्रिटिसिज्म एंड मेजर्ड वर्ड डू नॉट सीम टू होल्ड एनी वैल्यू एनी मोर India's surgical strikes are turning into a political slugfest as Congress Vice President Rahul Gandhi took the vicious khun ki dalali jibe at Prime Minister Modi the BJP tore into his remark Rahul ji ne itne bade bade maslo par bayan dene ki jagah aalu ki factory par concentration karna chahiye jisse unhone jo kaha hai wo desh ki janta ke samne hai ye bade bade maslo par unhone बयान नहीं देना चाहिए लिस्टिंग आउट द एलेजेड स्कैम्स ड्यूरिंग यूपीएस टेन्यो अमित शाह पुट आउट सम टफ क्वेश्चन बोफोर्ट से लेकर एम्ब्रायर तक किसने दलाली की कोयले से लेकर टू जी तक किसने दलाली की मैं मान से मानता हूं कि दलाली शब्द आपके जहन में कहीं ना कहीं पड़ा होगा मगर ये घटना ऐसी नहीं थी जहां पर यह शब्द आपके मुंह से निकलना चाहिए था reiterated the modi government stand that doubters won't be dignified by releasing proof jo apne jaan ko hatheli mein lekar apne desh ki raksha ke liye atankvad ke khilaf ladne ke liye maidan mein utre unko shanka ke daire mein la rahe hain iski shuruaat aap party ke neta shri arvind kejriwal ne ki unhone sabse pehle sawal uthaya ki iske saboot dena chahiye The Congress countered by launching another scathing attack, saying BJP led to the birth of Jaish-e Mohammed. शायद ये हमले होते ही नहीं अगर जैश ए मोहम्मद पैदा नहीं होती और जैश ए मोहम्मद को पैदा किसने किया भाजपा ने मसूद अजहर को रिहा किसने किया भाजपा ने फर्दर अक्यूज द मोदी गवर्नमेंट फॉर पॉलिटिसाइजिंग एंड क्लेमिंग क्रेडिट फॉर द सर्जिकल स्ट्राइक्स ये पोस्टर बाजी बंद करो सेना की जो कामयाबी है उस पर राजनीति बंद करो सेना को चुपचाप अपना काम करने दो As the war of words peaks over the surgical strikes, 
national interest has become the casualty yet again. Now the question is, can our netas not put the nation above everything else? Bureau Report, India Today. Home Minister Rajnath Singh was in Jaisalmer today for a meeting of leaders of the border states. He announced the introduction of the concept of a border security grid. All along India's borders, security being tightened to ensure that there will be zero infiltration from 2018. At least that's the stated mission of the Modi government. Here's the story. Before long, these borders will be sealed effectively forever. The Home Minister arrived in Jaisalmer on Friday morning for a two-day visit to assess the security situation along the India-Pakistan border. He met with the representatives of the border states Punjab, Rajasthan and Jammu and Kashmir and top BSF officials after his arrival and revealed their plan of action. December 2018, the इस लक्ष्य को हासिल करने के लिए जो भी एक्शन प्लान तैयार किया है वो एक्शन प्लान पूरी तरह से टाइम बाउंड है। He has added that India will start a new concept called the border security grid, and inputs will be taken from all border states before effective implementation. Every measure, every step possible, every technique available will be used to seal the borders once and for all. Before his trip concludes, he will also visit Munabau, a park bordering village. Bureau report, India Today. Now, much needed, each of these measures. A real pity that we really wake up when a crisis is staring us on our faces. This should have really been done over the past several years by successive governments. Not done better late than never, though. I want to take you now to Lipa Valley for a ground report. My colleague Suja Ulhaq has travelled to Lipa Valley. Lipa Valley is uh, the place where the most fierce fighting took place on the intervening night on the 28th, 29th, which is when Indian Special Forces commandos crossed over. There was heavy retaliation from the Pakistani side. Suja Ulhaq is the first correspondent to get to Lipa Valley. He gets us this report. Kashmiri bhi toh paari bhi, paari bhi. Kya bola tha hum log? Unne hi bola tha ya, unne bhi fire kiya tha. Unne idhar se vaksi jawab bhi diya tha. Fire ho bhi vaksi. To fire hui hai aap? Hmm. Vaksi. For all the doubters, here's more proof. Ever since the surgical strike, a few members of the political class have questioned whether the operation even happened. Pakistan's political and military responses were not enough to convince them. They disregarded international support for the strikes. And they completely ignored the statements of witnesses from POK itself. Using people actually living on the Pakistani side of the line of control, who we contacted through their friends and relatives living on the Indian side of Jammu and Kashmir, we've been able to bring you a graphic account of what actually happened on the early hours of Thursday. But now, a resident of a village just miles from Lipa Valley, where the strikes took place, has spoken up. The proof is undeniable, even though it may not be in the form that the doubters prefer. They may have ignored the statements of support of world leaders, but they even refuse to respect the statement of the army. But can the doubters really discredit those who witnessed the surgical strikes themselves? The onus is on the skeptics. With Jaul Haq near Lipa Valley, Bureau Report, India Today. Welcome back. You're with us on India Today. We've got breaking news coming in. There, there are reports coming in of a terror attack in Shopia in Jammu and Kashmir. I've got my colleague Ashraf Vani joining us for more details on this story. 
Ashraf, a police post coming at, under attack. What are the latest details you can give us? Rahul, basically you may see for last three months there are a series of attacks on the police post, particularly in the South Kashmir. This was one kind of attack, but what is the change? In the previous attacks, we were seeing that militants coming in, then looting the weapons. Here, it was also one attempt by the local militants in the area. It is a uh, Zamanpur in Shopian, just in Shopian district. When a group of militants came to attack the uh, minority picket, uh, which was uh, occupied by the police, then uh, police resisted there for the looting of weapons, uh, and uh, there was a exchange of fire between police and militants in which two cops and one civilian, he is from minority, got injured. But now what latest breaking news we are getting that one of the injured cops has succumbed to injuries and he has been declared dead during uh, transforming to the hospital in, by doctors in Pulwama Hospital. This is the news. So one policeman is dead now in this terror attack. One policeman is injured and also one civilian who uh, uh, is from the minority community is injured in this terror attack in Shopianga village. Okay, I've got my colleague uh, Jugal Purohit joining us from our news pit. He tracks internal security for India today. Jugal, we're seeing these very rushed operations. We saw it first in Baramula, then Handwara, now Shopia. An effort to try and snatch weapons from cops and uh, a post of the police coming under attack. That's right, Rahul. In fact, not only uh, during Baramula and the attacks before that, in fact, throughout the summer, we've seen several instances, this time, of course, in the most troubled South Kashmir area, where militants have, have definitely tried, in fact, targeted operations at policemen, at security staff of various ministers and bureaucrats, where the, where the, where the terrorists have made an attempt to flee with the weapons. In this particular case, we've seen the death of one of the policemen, uh, the first death after the terror attack that we had seen at the 46 RR camp and now as we understand in this particular attack it's not clear just what has happened with those weapons and the bit but what we do know is that there are three uh, three casualties one of them fatal and two injuries back to you for those updates uh, thank you Jugal and uh, Ashraf another attempt clearly the terrorists are desperate desperate to strike in any form or fashion third attack now at a post in Shopia. We'll bring you more details on this. We're slipping into a break when we come back to the newsroom. And on the newsroom tonight, I will get you the inside details of Operation Surgical Strike. For the first time on TV, a blow-by-blow, minute-by-minute account of what went into the execution and planning of the most audacious assault of the Indian Special Forces. That story, when we come back on the other side of a quick break, you don't want to miss this.